What's going on guys, Gibber here from G&G Productions. Today I'm bringing you a video and tutorial on how to live stream to websites such as Twitch TV and Justin TV with the Roxio Game Capture. Okay, to jump right in you're going to need two things, which in this video I will tell you what they are, such as the software, you've already got the hardware, but the software you'll be using to record this and to live stream will be the XSplit Broadcaster, as shown highlighted here, and the, this audio repeater also known as the Virtual Audio Cable. They're both completely free, although for better quality and easier use, it would be recommended to pay for them. Okay, so to jump right in, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to find the XSplit thing first. Okay, so obviously if you want to live stream, you've already got your Twitch TV account. So you'll be going onto Twitch TV, go on your broadcaster dashboard, which will be there. You can wait for it in the background. <laughs> and you go over to streaming apps. When you go to streaming apps, there'll be XSplit. You want to download, press the download button. And then you'll be brought to this page. There's a the download link for XSplit. And then below here is the minimum software requirements and minimum hardware. If you're worried about whether you can run this or not, it's only a very small program. It's not massive requirements. And most modern day computers of about a year or two old can run this fairly easily. So basically what you do, you click this here, this is the 1.1 version, this is the latest version. I can't download it because I already have it, so my download manager is telling me I already got it, there's no point downloading it. That's done. So once you downloaded it, you will get a uh, account request, so you have to make your account and uh, leave it in the background as we're going to be doing here. So let's quickly close that because that's going to provide ag. So that's ready. Next, what we're going to need is this thing here, the virtual audio cable. So to find this, we go on to Google and type in virtual audio cable and it'll be the first link. If you're not too sure it'll be software by mozyachenko.net, click it. And the latest version of this at the time of video is 4.12. I have 4.10 at the moment. I'm very content with it. I don't want to upgrade. I'll keep just click and cancel, but I've, I've got the paid version and I don't want to move from it in case anything mucks up. But I have friends that have the 4.12 and it's just fine. So basically this is the bit you're looking for here, after you click download and purchase. Here is the free downloadable version. This is the trial version. And there is the pay, full pay for version for 25 to 50 pounds. Go away. So what you're going to need to do is click down our trial version if you want to just try it out first and obviously my download manager is telling me not to again next what you want to do that's what it is where to find it you go start after you downloaded it virtual audio cable and you've got two options what you want to do you want to go use the MME because it is better sound quality and this is what works for me and you want to get two of them out one will be for the Roxia one will be for your microphone. So you need to do everything as I do. So wave in, you see you have many different options. And you see the one vac in there. So you want to click that, but you won't have vac in. So what you want to do, you want to go down to your recording devices and you'll see there's my microphone, there's my Roxio making noise in the background. Down here I have my vac in. When you first download the program it'll come up as line in or something along those lines, line one. You want to probably rename it to vac in just for ease of use purpose. And same with the playback, you want to name it back out. Just follow it as it happens in the video. So, easy use purpose. You want this as a vac in. No, you don't. You want this. This is your microphone one. So, as a microphone, you want to put it to your microphone so you can talk. As a wave out, you want to be doing the vac out. Vac out is what will be going into XSplit and beaming it out to the public that are watching your videos and live streams. In my case, none. You want to leave everything the same apart from the total buffer, which you want to take up to a thousand. And that is ready to start. As you can see, as I talk, it is already beaming everything into the audio repeater, which is good. This one over here is for the Roxio. So what you want to do, you put the wave in to, of course, your Roxio game capture. And your wave out, again, beaming out to the XSplit as you're back out. This one you set to 1,000. I say 1,000 because it's just <coughs> what I found is a good quality for me. My sound is crisp and everything is there. Now that's done, as I move my Xbox around in the background there it is so they can be minimized for the moment because you don't need them anymore and they won't come here but they are still in the background 
what you want to do, you want to open XSplit. The minus load, I'll talk to you about the difference between the paid version and the free version for this. The paid version, you get many, many more of those little windows. You can have one, two, three, four, five, that many. You only need two, which is why many people opt for the free version. But with a recent update at 1.4.12 uh, of the audio VAC cable, every 30 seconds or so, you get a woman saying trial over your video. So your stream viewers will hear the word trial every 30 seconds. Some people can live with it. I would find it annoying if I was listening to a stream, so I thought I'm not going to let people suffer, so I'm going to get the full version. That's just me. Other than that, there's no difference. You would hear the word every couple of seconds, or every 30 seconds, and that's about it. Okay, so, now our sound set up, and for the next bit of users, uh, we didn't need to worry about that. Continue loading. That was just because I closed it earlier like that. Load up have XSplit and you'll get the free trial bypass window they're trying to get you to buy it and you'll get obviously you get more features but for this you only need the free trial which is lovely if you wait 10 seconds you'll continue and as you can see in the background is my xbox so just for purpose of ease and so you can see how we do it i'm going to remove everything and start from scratch for you basically to start you click add add camera rocks your game capture you'll see it's going to be down there and it's going to have these horrible black bars. What you want to do is right click the screen, click position, and keep and tick off the aspect ratio so there's no tick in the box. That makes it back to full screen. Next thing you want to do, you want to go through the view bit and check your resolution. <coughs> now, live streaming is completely dependent on your graphics card and your upload speed. So, depending on how high your upload speed is and your graphics card level is how you're going to choose these. I have about a 7.9 to 8 upload speed and a NVIDIA GTX TI 560. Now, as far as Xbox live streaming goes, I'm not sure it's a massive factor, but the upload speed is. So I can stream in 720 HD, but 480p is for people around 2 or 3 upload speed maybe, if not less. But this is for like people that want to get full HD, near enough. Frame rate for the free edition is locked, and the scale port, when you play the game, you want to take it down a bit more just to, when you start broadcasting because it does eat into your computer memory process and just making it a bit smaller removes one view, viewing window. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to take it up to 70 again so you can see. Okay, next, you want to go on tools, general settings, and you want everything laid out like mine. You want your, well, I suppose you can have them, but then no big difference. But I make sure that. Virtual camera outputs there because that's this. Game source is there, which is also this, and the Skype interaction for when I play with people online, or if I get a person from the chat room on the stream wants to come in and play with me and have a little chat, I'll it will make sure the stream can hear them. So you want to click apply and make sure everything like that. The microphone needs to be back in. I think I'm talking really fast, but I'll be happy to answer any questions after. And that's all sorted. Next, you want to go to your channels. This is where you add your live stream channels. So for us, I'm doing this tutorial for Twitch TV and Justin TV. This is where you'll input all your username. I'm sure you'll find other tutorials around how to do that because it's very simple. So for the purpose of thinking you guys are able to do that, we'll go and edit. So we'll look at mine. So I have my name, password, location, which is my server, which is good. Not, you know, my London server because I'm in England. I have my preset at very fast, which is the 1.1 version of, say, in the default setting. I'll have my quality at top because I can I like it there that's gonna help me get my full 720 and this is the most important bit here <clears throat> this is your upload speed as I said I have around 7.9 upload to 8 on a good day and when the my service provider is not too cluttered and overrun uh, what you want to do with this if you want to get a perfect stream or near perfect you, one you need the upload speed but two you want to use around 70% of your upload speed so I think around 70% of 7.9 is about 6,500 KBS. I've bumped it up earlier because I was a bit in demand from my service provider, but this gives me HD with no lag. So I'm dedicating 6.8 MB upload to my live streaming and leaving a bit in reserve in case my computer starts fluctuating and stuff like that. The rest you can keep. Audio encoding, you can't really do much with that. It's sort of the max of the default setting anyway, and because you haven't bought XSplit they're not going to let you have any more. So you have to click OK on that. 
apply it, press OK, and you're basically all set. The last thing you need to do is just right click the screen, click the cam button, you want to configure, you want to click crossbar, and you want to start with output. You see here, I'm going to click down and make sure you're on number one audio decoder out, which will automatically set it all up over here, and you can apply it, and you need to make sure it looks like that, and you're set to go. You can then click to announce, announce stuff around, no one really follows my Twitch TV yet, I'll put a link down below so you guys, if you find this helpful, you can possibly watch my stream, join in my streams, like my Facebook page for more updates and ways to comment and ask questions. My, we'll start broadcasting just so I can show you. My um, main, oh we'll go back to there main way I will get all my comments through will be from my phone which is linked to my YouTube account so it will be all cool uh, we'll go channel uh, so feel free to comment, rate and subscribe because uh, so feel free to comment, rate and subscribe oh, we'll mute that, so double hearing it now yeah so as you can see that's working uh, any problems or any problems you encounter within your setup I'll be happy to answer I regularly answer back as soon as I can unless I'm in bed due because I'm on British time. Um, here's just proof that it's all lag free HD. I can even go full screen while I talk. Might have these black bars every now and then but that would just be sorting out what you do. As I said I'm going to put annotations at the top for all my different series. I'm starting a Resident Evil series right after I do this video with the new Resident Evil 6. I really appreciate it if you guys check that out. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Subscribe will help me get more videos out like this and be able to let me sort of spread the video out across because I've seen that a lot of people are doing this and I was struggling with this. Uh, if anything helped me most, it would be uh, a guy called Vaughn Whiskey, but I know he doesn't watch my channel or even know I even exist. But I know that he helped me along the way. And uh, yeah, as far as I'm aware, that's. All that needs to be done, be sure to check out my streams, any of my other gameplays, and don't be afraid to ask a question because I'll always reply to the best of my ability and double check everything on my setup before I give you the reply so I can own confidence that I'm doing the right thing. So, uh, thank you very much, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Happy live streaming. Thank you very much.